was a number of things. Obviously, Leap to Fame was huge, capturing the Inter Dominion in our own backyard at Albion Park. So that was special in many ways. But the efforts of Nathan Dawson, 400 wins as a Queenslander, we've never seen that before. Will we ever see it again? Who knows? Can he do it himself and break it? Time will tell. So they, they were the two standouts, but there was a lot of other things like our junior mini trotters. Uh, they were enormous. Miracle Mile victory, the mini Miracle Mile, swept all three divisions of the Inter Dominion. So it proves that we've got growth coming through. So they were really good in their own right. And we've got a lot of good talent in and around Leap to Fame as well. So it's probably unfortunate for Connections that they've got to chase him, but there's a lot of depth here in Queensland and I think that augurs well for the future. Having a horse like Leap to Fame as our flag bearer just gave it that you know, national significance as well. Um, and he played his part to, to perfection. Clean swept the series, three heats and the final. So being back here in Queensland and having a headline act like Leap to Fame, it was massive. And a lot of eyeballs are on Queensland throughout that series because of him. And I think there was a few other little uh, parts that played their part to make it as special as what it was. It would be nearly impossible for me to envisage a year that could be better. Having the Inner Dominion in Queensland for the first time since 2009, the local horse going unbeaten through the, the heats, then winning the final. Nathan's driving over 400 winners after driving over 200 for the last five or six years. The Qbreds, the Constellation. We're going to struggle to repeat it. Um, so let's just enjoy 2023 and what it means for harness racing. Really looking forward to the Constellations 2024. It seems to get bigger and better every year, which is hard to sort of fathom, but this year we've got the Proto Star, first ever running of the Proto Star, $500,000, richest race on the calendar automatically. So, and we've seen by the, the people that have bought the slots, there's gonna be some serious talent on offer. So that's really good. We'll have Leap to Fame back in action as well. He'll be chasing the Sunshine Sprint and the, uh, the Blacks of Fake and there'll be a lot of other talent around. I'm looking forward to the rising sun. I think the current crop of four-year-olds is really special, so hopefully we'll hold our own with horses like For Real Live and Frankie Ferocious if he comes back from Sydney.